when, when you're on Everest, it seems like every day is a drama. What kind of health concerns can happen? What, what's next? You got to take it a step at a time, Jamie. You guys need to uh, get, you know, get revitalized, get some calories. Considering how wiped, we really took a butt kicking, uh, which was a bummer, but uh, I think that's a good idea for us over. If you're dragging ass, you shouldn't start for the south call. All right, good point. Okay, well, if we're one gear ahead of dragging ass. Camp three, camp three. This is base camp. Sorry, please repeat. Can you see if Jamie and Kami and Scott started from Camp 3? But I'm concerned because we haven't heard that they've started. Last night when we talked to Jamie, he sounded very tired, very discouraged. I was concerned. This morning I talked to a different Jamie Clark. The old Jamie Clark, the Jamie Clark I know, was back. At 2.30 this morning, the Sherpas began climbing from Camp 2, bound all the way for the South Call. Midway on a small little ledge, literally not much wider than a tent. Jamie and Scott had their camp. There's fixed lines around their tent, so they're clipped into the fixed lines for safety whenever they move, even around their tent. It was 9.55, and Scott, Jamie, and Kami were beginning to climb. Jamie and Scott have a good chance of arriving at the South Call about 3 o'clock today. And hopefully, if they arrive at 3, Within an hour or two after that, they're trying to sleep. They will begin climbing during the night. I would suggest 1 a.m. Jamie and Scott are up for that. They know how to get up early and climb. And uh, they also know how to get serious about the rest that they need when they need it. So I think you're going to find those guys in a real purposeful mode this afternoon. If the winds aren't too high and if they're really strong, as strong as they can be, I think they can climb this mountain in seven to nine hours from the South Call. That's not bad. I think you're moving well. You sound good, Jamie. It's big punchy, man. <laughs> it's big punchy.